yeah. Hello. Right. Hey, you shouldn't cut it too fine. They search you in all sorts. <sighs> right, what do you think? Andy's gonna love it. Well, I wanted to cheer Andy up. Not gonna exactly do that if I'm covered from head to in wool, am I? Right, visiting order, tissues, keys. Right, let's go. Missed you so much. Oh. Ticking over so you don't have to worry about that. Sarah's missing you so much. She's she's done me this look. I know you're taking on too much. Oh, I'm okay. It's not all work. No. I went to the shops, went for a cappuccino and I went home and had an early night. Oh, I can't bear this Andy. Before you say anything, I know you don't want to pretend, but I know you don't want to get married in prison. You're right. I don't. I know. I'm going to tell Andy the truth. So my dad was on about Sam not wanting to... I'm all heart, me. All... Oh, Joe. You all right? No, it's a bit of a stupid question, isn't it? No, please, don't start. Have you talked to Andy yet? No, I haven't. I can't let him down. I mean, do you think he loves you? Yeah, of course he does. Well, he wouldn't want to... You're right. Yeah. I don't know how you're doing it on your own. Other people do it. You see him on telly. Single parent families, they're called. And they've all got houses and cars and flat screen TVs. That doesn't mean they love their kids more than you love Samson. Now that's your pride talking. And we need to put Samson first, not you. For me. Hello. Hiya, Mrs. Cowling. Oh, yeah, I know about that. That's why I... Well, that's a bit harsh. I mean, I thought she'd... Yeah, but I thought she caught it off you. <sighs> right. Yeah, it's not your problem. I'll be there as soon as. Thanks. I need a massive further. We need driving lessons. Sarah's being sent home from playgroup. So? So she's got a really bad cold. I need you to look after her. Take your time thinking about it. But I was going to ask Lisa, but I reckon she's got enough to deal with. Come on, Debbie, I'm already late. There's no way. Well, it's good enough for her dad. But because you're disorganised, I'm meant to suffer. Most mums wouldn't see looking after their own daughter as suffering. Oh, thanks. I owe you. A couple of hours, maybe more. It's a couple of hours, tops. And yes, you're right, you do owe me. Right, everything's in here. Nappies, snacks, wipes. Just keep her wrapped up and she'll be good as gold, all right? Mwah. Oh, come on. Flipping petrol gauge. Oh, I don't actually believe this. Oh, come on. Oh, bad joke. Bad flipping joke. <sighs> oh, I should be a detective. Yeah, that's what I keep telling them. What's happened? I didn't have you as the hiking type. Interesting choice of shoe. Well, my Andy likes them. Not that he'll be seeing them now. Because it ends well over. And if it's any consolation, I appreciate them. Don't we, mate? Oh, it's back there somewhere. Piece of junk. Ran out of petrol. That was into blue. Good right nightmare. I've been getting on. Hey, have I left my phone here? You've had a nightmare. I have got no work done. And hello, two hours. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's this? He's fine enough to give in to her, you know. Come on. Well, you might as well keep the nab Say thanks to Debbie. Listen, I'm, um, I'm sorry I took ages. I owe you one. Did you sound upset? Madam, stop fidgeting. I'm gonna go and ring Daddy once again. You been? Pretty much everywhere, except for where I wanted to be. <sighs> she got sent home, I ran out of petrol. Oh, was Andy. How do you think? Oh, please, don't start, Dad, seriously. I feel lousy enough as it is. I tried ringers before, I'm hoping he'll call back. Not today, he won't. That'll be his lot. Right, see you later. 